non-Alzheimer's types of dementia. Although Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases are the most well-known, there are other types of dementia that are equally devastating, and people should learn about in order to understand and prevent them. The changes in the brain that cause Alzheimer's disease aren't yet well understood. This lack of information might be why people mistakenly relate different types of dementia to this disease. Today, we'd like to clear up some of the confusion. Some facts about Alzheimer's. The first symptoms of Alzheimer's are well known, difficulty remembering names and recent conversations. However, as the disease progresses, such signs also worsen. Subsequent symptoms include difficulty communicating, changes in behavior and judgment, and even trouble when eating or walking. A person's risk level for Alzheimer's and other types of dementia is often considered bad enough with respect to genetics in most cases. Alzheimer's isn't the only cause of dementia, but it is the most common one. That might be why it gets confused by nearly everyone. Non-Alzheimer's Types of Dementia Now that we've told you a little about Alzheimer's disease, we want to talk about other types of dementia that are often confused with it. 1. Vascular Dementia this involves reducing blood flow to the brain due to a clot or a blockage of blood vessels. Among the types of dementia, this one can cause strokes. Its most common characteristic is difficulty planning and organizing. Take care of your heart health. You should avoid any hardening or obstruction of blood vessels. This means keeping your cholesterol and blood pressure stable. Plus, the same care will also help you avoid getting diabetes. 2. Dementia with Lewy Bodies Lewy bodies are made up of a protein known as alpha-synuclein that form in the area of the cerebral cortex. They result in memory loss and difficulty thinking. Of the types of dementia, this one is the most similar to Alzheimer's. However, where they differ is that the former causes disturbances in sleep, hallucinations, and muscular rigidity. Thanks to this, the effects also resemble Parkinson's disease. When patients with dementia with Lewy bodies go to a familiar place, they may feel lost because they've forgotten those sites that they once knew well. Once a person reaches the advanced stages of dementia, they may become lost just looking for the bathroom or even their own bedroom. Of the most common types of dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies comes in second place. Alzheimer's continues to be the most common type so far. Keep your brain active to avoid this problem. Learn to speak a new language, get to know the history of new places, or do some research on foreign cultures. High educational levels and stimulating your brain with hobbies can help prevent the symptoms. 3. Dementia caused by Parkinson's disease. When the alpha-synuclein clumps that we talked about above collect in a part of the brain known as the substantial nigra, they damage the nerve cells that produce dopamine. Specialists believe that this is when problems form that are associated with movements, which is a characteristic of Parkinson's disease. It's also accompanied by tremors and having to move very slowly. The worrisome thing about Parkinson's disease is that no known cause has been determined yet to help people prevent this type of dementia. 4. Frontotemporal Dementia When there is degeneration in the nerve cells of either the frontal or temporal lobe of the brain, it's known as frontotemporal dementia. This can cause changes in personality, behavior, and communication skills. People who suffer from this type of dementia may become impulsive. They may make large purchases without consulting their spouse, for example. Unfortunately, this type of dementia has no medication to control it. Therefore, it's important to adopt a healthy lifestyle to reduce injury or possible strokes. 5. Mixed Dementia After all that we've talked about so far, to make matters worse, a person could also have a blend of different changes in their brain at the same time. This is known as mixed dementia, which is typically a combination of vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It's best to keep your brain active and avoid any of the risk factors. It might sound complicated, but it is possible. Treating dementia versus treating Alzheimer's treatment for dementia will depend on the exact cause and type of dementia, but many treatments for dementia and Alzheimer's will overlap. Alzheimer's treatment no cure for Alzheimer's is available, but options to help manage symptoms of the disease include Medications for behavioral changes, such as antipsychotics Medications for memory loss, which include cholinesterase inhibitors Donpazil, Aricept, and Rivastigmine, Exelon, and Mamantine, Namenda Alternative remedies that aim to boost brain function or overall health, 
such as coconut oil or fish oil. Medications for sleep changes. Medications for depression, dementia treatment. In some cases, treating the condition that causes dementia may help. Conditions most likely to respond to treatment include dementia due to drugs, tumors, metabolic disorders, hypoglycemia. In most cases, dementia isn't reversible. However, many forms are treatable. The right medication can help manage dementia. Treatments for dementia will depend on the cause. For example, doctors often treat dementia caused by Parkinson's disease and LBD with cholinesterase inhibitors that they also often use to treat Alzheimer's. Treatment for vascular dementia will focus on preventing further damage to the brain's blood vessels and preventing stroke. People with dementia can also benefit from supportive services from home health aides and other caregivers. An assisted living facility or nursing home may be necessary as the disease progresses. Outlook Outlook for people with dementia versus people with Alzheimer's The outlook for people with dementia depends entirely on the direct cause of the dementia. Treatments are available to make symptoms of dementia due to Parkinson's manageable, but there isn't currently a way to stop or even slow down the related dementia. Vascular dementia can be slowed down in some cases, but it still shortens a person's lifespan. Some types of dementia are reversible, but most types are irreversible and will instead cause more impairment over time. Alzheimer's is a terminal illness, and no cure is currently available. The length of time each of the three stages lasts varies. The average person diagnosed with Alzheimer's has an estimated lifespan of approximately 4 to 8 years after diagnosis, but some people can live with Alzheimer's for up to 20 years. Talk to your doctor if you're concerned that you have the symptoms of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Starting treatment promptly can help you manage your symptoms. How Parkinson's disease affects the body Life with Parkinson's is challenging, to say the least. This progressive disease starts slowly, and because there's currently no cure, it gradually worsens how you think and feel. Giving up may seem like the only solution, but it certainly isn't. Thanks to advanced treatments, many people are able to continue living healthy, productive lives with Parkinson's. Parts of the body affected by Parkinson's disease Head Memory function Cognitive impairment, behavioral problems, changes in personality, fatigue, hallucinations, trouble sleeping, difficulty swallowing, chest, pain, depression, difficulty sleeping, stomach, digestive issues, urinary problems, constipation, legs, trouble balancing, decreased range of movement, joint and muscle aches, patients facts, 50 to 80 percent eventually experience dementia. 50% have some form of depression, up to 80% experience constipation. Parkinson's patients are 3x more likely to fall. Parkinson's is sometimes perceived as a mystifying disease. The stigma surrounding it has led to numerous misconceptions. This list debunks the top 5 myths about Parkinson's. 1. Myth, Parkinson's only affects you physically. Some of the earliest warning signs and symptoms of Parkinson's are tremors, loss of mobility, and poor balance, all of which are motor symptoms. But non-motor symptoms, including change in speech and personality, increased urinary frequency and urgency, and cognitive impairments, are also symptoms of the disease. 2. Myth, only older people can be diagnosed with Parkinson's. While the majority of those with Parkinson's are over the age of 62, it's entirely possible to be diagnosed earlier in life. Young onset Parkinson's occurs when an individual receives a Parkinson's diagnosis before they turn 50. It's believed that only about 2% of the 1 million people with Parkinson's are younger than 40. 3. Myth, it's a predictable disease. If Parkinson's were predictable, then it would likely be curable too. Similar to many other progressive diseases, Parkinson's varies from person to person. How fast the disease progresses and how often symptoms are experienced are different for each individual with Parkinson's. Alongside this, there's no way to predict who will receive a diagnosis. 4. Myth, besides taking any prescribed medications, you can't do anything to help with treatment. Although any lifestyle modifications you make won't change your Parkinson's diagnosis, eating healthy and exercising can be beneficial treatment add-ons. The Mayo Clinic recommends a well-rounded, balanced diet full of fiber and wholesome foods. 
staying active can help you maintain a sense of independence, as well as increase your muscle strength and flexibility. Ask your doctor for specific eating and exercise recommendations. 5. Myth Once you're diagnosed with Parkinson's, there's little to no hope. Parkinson's may be a progressive disease, and it may be incurable, but that's no reason to miss out on life. Researchers are looking for advanced treatments to stop the disease and even prevent it from happening in the first place. For example, in June 2015, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the Brio Neurostimulation System. This deep brain stimulation device sends pulses through the body to reduce symptoms, such as tremors. Other advanced treatments are also in the works, so the promise for a cure is on the horizon.